Hello my YouTube friends, welcome to my channel, Inspire Strength here. I just wanted to show you another DIY on a hair spritz that I made this week. Uh, so far it's really really good, I really like it a lot and I uh, just want to show you how I make that. So let's get started. This is a hair spritz that I made and I've already used more than half of it, there's like a third of it left and it's really really good. See in the pump? That's why I put it in a little spray bottle, pull it out, and spritz it in your hair. It makes your hair so soft and give it lots of slip. And when you have a braid in your hair, like, you know, if you braid your hair overnight and you want to take it out in the morning, just spray on the ends, not on my face, sorry. Just spray a little bit on your ends and then you open your braids. Really, really easy. Um, my hair is like this right now because as soon as I finish this video, I want to go and deep condition it. So I didn't really do much to it. But the thing I really want to show you is how to make my DIY spritz. First, you'll need an empty jar. You can get this like at a dollar store or Walmart or anywhere. You can get like a little little canister because you don't really need much. Actually, I'll show you all three of them together. This came in a pack. And I paid like a dollar ninety nine for it, maximum two dollars, no more than that. And see, I got uh, traveling size bottles, so it's really good. I can travel with it. First, you're gonna need a little canister. I guess I have a little measuring cup, like this here. And you need first. Let me see my measurements. I want to give you an accurate measure of what I used. So I have my notes in front of me because I just did it this week. So for the olive oil, coconut oil, sorry, I use three tablespoons. So three is filling up to the top. Here we go. Perfect. That's three tablespoons right there. Pour that into your little bottle. There we go. And then I used one teaspoon of Jamaican black castor oil again in the same little cup that's where I measured it when, when I did this I was sitting down at a table so right now I'm not at that table one teaspoon pour that in this was so good I could not believe how well it, well it worked and then you need two teaspoons of Extra virgin olive oil. Let me just turn it so I can see it properly. There you go. Two teaspoons of that. Straight into the... Well, there we go. And then the last thing I'm going to use is two teaspoons of any conditioner that you like, that you agree with. But I use tres uh, Tresemme uh, Remoisturize conditioner. You can use a natural one if you like that says natural on it. It's really completely up to you. But the other ingredients that I told you, that's very, very important. So this is going to be two uh, teaspoons. Just pour it in like that. There we go. And then you're going to apply this into the canister. So that's a little bit tricky, so let me see if I can get that in without making too much of a mess. See, it's in my lab now big big but I want to get it in because once once I, I, I work it inside it's gonna be good there we go and almost done I hope you'll be a lot neater than I am being right now <laughs> this is just really like really fast because I honestly want you to see this because I could not believe how well it worked and then the very last ingredients that I'm adding in of course is water and you need half a cup of water for this oops oops I'm making a mess sorry guys here we go I don't fill it completely up because I want to be able to shake it afterwards and here it goes See that? This is this. And then what I did was 
I poured it into this canister here, this other spray bottle, and I'm able to use it throughout the day. Guys, honestly, you're gonna just love this. I mean, I made it this week and I thought, no, I couldn't believe it, it came out so well. So I really want you to try it. I want you to give me a comment and tell me how you like it. Um, how you are using it, whether you're using it in the morning to undo your braids or just to re-moisturize your hair throughout the day. I was using water throughout the day. I was using water throughout the day, but I feel like I realized that my hair was getting too dry and also it wasn't moisturizing it enough. So now since I started using that, oh my God, it's like night and day. My hair is soft. It feels good. It feels well moisturized. I, I don't have to um, do much to it throughout the day. I tend to pull it back all day and have it in, in, in a bun. That's usually how I keep it throughout the day. But right now, like I told you, I'm going to use my deep conditioner. I want to show you. See, I always tell you the truth. I'm always like being honest with my, my, my friends. I'm going to deep condition my hair right now. I got that for $10. So I'm pretty pleased. A big bottle like that. <laughs> Can't go wrong. But this is my DIY. And... I just want you to try, try it, like, hit like, subscribe, and what else can I tell you? <laughs> and please comment on it and subscribe us. No, it's okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, my daughter is talking to me, so sorry about that. That's what's happening. She's like, tell them about the color. Okay, what you're seeing is that the color is a little bit more uh, yellow here, uh, uh, simply because I just made it. And then this, what I did afterwards was I added a hint more of the uh, conditioner and a little bit more water. So that's all you're seeing there. That's all it is. So if you find that it's too oily for you when you're doing it, just add a little bit more water to it because I just used half a cup. But believe me, this is so good for your hair. Naturals, enjoy this. Tell me uh, uh, what you like about it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more DIYs like this because I really love making these for you. I was really missing you guys. It's been like about, I don't know, like two weeks since I posted anything. So I'm just really pleased to do this. Anyway, my friends, love you all. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit like. Don't forget, hit like and comment. I need your comments and I need your feedbacks. And please share my vids with all your friends so that they can see and give me great. So, love you. Bye, friends.